Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I have a Manny swap with the lovely Elle Andish. I will never forget finding her YouTube channel shortly after I had started painting my nails, and I was floored by her amazing nail art and her incredible videos. Her beach manicure is one that I love and recreate often, so I thought I'd do a tutorial. Make sure to head to her channel and check out her tutorial for my recreation of one of my other favorite nail artists, Madeline Poole. First, we're going to begin with Bundle Monsters Poly Peel to protect our cuticles. I love poly peel because it sets in about a minute and a half. Next, you're going to take your makeup sponge and paint a gradient starting with a sheer nude. Then, layer on your blue polishes from lightest to darkest. Be sure to overlap the colors on the sponge slightly so that the transition from color to color is smooth. You might have to repeat the step two or three times to get the desired opacity, but it is super important to remember that you absolutely must wait for each layer to dry in between coats. This usually isn't a problem, especially if you're going through and doing nail art on each finger, but I always need to remind myself. I love the instant satisfaction of nail art, but a little patience goes a long way. So I've seen some nail artists take the cuticle barrier off and then reapply. I thought I'd try keeping it on and adding more to the pad of my finger and see what happened. Step is really important because we're about to immerse our finger in water and polish, meaning polish is likely to get everywhere and I generally prefer to use poly peel than wrestle with acetone. So once your poly peel is almost dry, take your cup of lukewarm water and from a short distance drop white polish on the surface and watch it spread out. I like to use spray on hand sanitizer to create the effect. Spray the hand sanitizer and watch the polish spread out. Once the sanitizer has done its job, I like to take a dotting tool or a toothpick and spread the design out. This gives me a little more room to work. So now we have the hard part, finding just the right spot to dip. Once you've found a good spot, lay your nail on the surface and then uncrook your finger while it is still underwater. Don't breach the surface until you're sure you won't pick up another layer of polish on your way out. This is another benefit of spreading out the design. You might be able to find multiple spots to dip safely. I didn't get the pattern quite right, so I had to go back in and fill in a blank area of my nail. Now for cleanup. I like to peel off the poly peel and then use an angled brush dipped in acetone to clean up around the edges. Using a textured tan polish, I used Zoya's Godiva. Paint the area closest to your cuticle to create the sand effect. I love Godiva because it has just the right amount of glitter in it. And now for the palm trees. Start with a peach to purple gradient. I used Sally Hansen's Get Juiced and Grape Gatsby. I just read The Great Gatsby with my students and they loved it. And I think I love this polish as much as I love the book. So next you're gonna peel off the poly peel and get ready to paint on the palm trees. Start with the branches and then paint the palm fronds by starting at the branch and bringing your brush downward. I like to paint with a fairly dry brush so I don't make the lines too bold. Once you're done, paint a long line towards the end of your nail and you're good to go. And now for my favorite part, top coat. Top the ocean part of the beach nail and your palm trees with top coat and once that's set, you're ready to hit the pool or the beach. I'd love to see your nails if you recreate this. Please tag me. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you to like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below.